Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden, I'm the Speed King, and of course, as always, turn on your closed capture and uh, email us at speedking24 at Yahoo for our tip sheet, for shirts, anything else that you need to talk to us about, speedking24 at yahoo.com. And thanks so much for your support, please, if you haven't, please subscribe and ring the bell, comment my favorite part of this. So, the beautiful Lexington, Kentucky. The old Jenny Wiley, grade one, mile and 16, small fields of six. Chad Brown's trying to circle the wagons. I'm going to try to run Chad off his feet. It won't be easy. Let's dive right in. This grade one stake trades for $500,000. It's a lot of money, and Mr. Brown means business in here. Okay, let's dial into the number one horse, Scarabaya. Scarabaya. Well, Scarabaya is bred like all get out by American Pharaoh on the back end by Galileo. Uh, Scarabaya has 10 uh, starts and one win. Okay, this has a very tall order to come in here with just one win against some very, very talented grass runners in here. Um, again, I don't like the number one horse in this spot. Speed figures are a little light. And again, uh, just the inexperience to me, you get to throw the number one off the ticket. Well, the number two, Waliak. The old Waliak. This is a very, very nice horse. Um, you know, by way of Woodbine last time uh, in the Teller Stakes, uh, grade one. Ran fourth by one and a half. Not bad at all. Ran a beautiful race. The speed figures are okay. This horse is coming off of a 181 day layoff. And again, I wouldn't be mad at you if you used this horse underneath, uh, you know, Waliak. Um, 15 starts, 4 wins, 5 seconds, and 3 thirds. This horse likes to hit the board. Vaughn is our trainer, and you got Respley in the yard. So, again, you know, Respley obviously is a top jock, and, you know, this is a nice horse. Waliak's a nice horse. I'm not mad at you. Speed figures are within stone. You know, in stone throw of the two favorites here, which would be Chad Brown's horse, the three and four. So the number two horse has a shot, not without a shot. I would only use them underneath. Well, here's a beautiful horse, Santa Shara. Santa Shara, uh, trained by Downtown Brown, the turf master. Well, making her four-year-old debut off of a beautiful, beautiful three-year-old line. I know you always hear me say that. This horse last ran October 16th right here at beautiful Keeneland. Went ga almost gate the wire, sat in the cat bir catbird seat. It was a grade one race. And um, it was the uh, Queen's Elizabeth Challenge Cup uh, for 500000 at a mile and eighth, which is, you know, a beautiful, beautiful race back in October. Okay, it's a grade one. The horse won by five lengths, earned a beautiful speed figure with Flavian Pratt up. Flavian Pratt's up again, so Santa Shara is a beautiful, beautiful filly, making her four-year-old de debut, uh, Irish bred, has nine starts, and five of them are wins. I mean, so what are you going to say? This horse is extremely talented, and uh, is trained by the turf master himself, Chad Brown, and I know that makes my boy Dave Hammond very, very excited, because he's a Chad Brown lover, he loves Chad's horses, and, uh, Rightly so on the lawn. It looks like he's circling the wagon here. I want to see uh, Santa Shara run here and uh, making her four-year-old debut. When she left as a three-year-old, like I said at last race in October, she was riding a three-game winning streak. So again, as a four-year-old, she should be bigger, faster, and stronger. I mean, she should be better at four than she was at three. I mean, this is the prime of her life right here. So I expect this horse to burst into flames. The number three was Santa Shara. It's going to be awfully, awfully tough in here, folks. The number five, it doesn't do anything but get just a little bit better for Mr. Chad Brown. He's got regal glory. Now, again, this millionaire, that's what I said. The horse is a millionaire, $1.53 million. The number four horse, regal glory. Wow. 17 starts, 10 of them wins in four seconds. So, I mean, this horse has uh, raced 17 times, and 14 of the starts is first to second, 10 of them being wins. I mean, let me see you shake a stick at that. You can't. You can't even begin to knock this horse, Speed King community. 
under any circumstances. And Regal Glory, I mean, this is an old time, but this six year old mare by Animal Kingdom on the back end by More Than Ready by Chad. I mean, this horse is ready to roll. Coming off of a 77 day break, 29th of January, ran at an overnight stake race, grade three, earned the same speed figure as Shanta Sarah did when she left as a three year old back in October. So again, Chad's got a these, de you know, it looks like he got these dead to right. Now, you know, again, you know, these horses uh, will be sitting in the cat bird and they're going to turn for home and they don't want to look like rotary engines coming home. So both of Chad Brown's horses are extremely, extremely strong. I'm not telling you anything you don't know in a grade one race that's worth $500,000. He's come to play. Okay, he's got Jose Ortiz on uh, Regal Glory and he's got Flavian Pratt on, on um, you know, Shanta Sarah, who I want to see run as a four-year-old. By the way, I have nothing against Flavian Pratt. I mean, a lot of people think I, you know, beat up on him. I have a little fun with him, but I know that he's a top jock, one of the top five or six jocks in America. He's just not one of my favorites, you know. If I land on his horse like I did here with Santa Shara, I'm going to bet him, you know, because Flavian can flat out ride. I just think that, you know what, you know, whatever I think, it doesn't matter, but, you know, he's okay. Let's put it like that. But both of Chad Brown's horses are extremely strong in this spot. You don't need me to tell you that. The number five horse, Navitalova. Well, hey, listen. Navitalova is nice in her own right. Speed figures are okay. She has ten starts, three wins, and four thirds. Try to train by Rusty Arnold. By Medaglia Dora, smart strike on the back end. You know, now, Meda you know, uh, Navitalova, you know, ran third in the Honey honey Fox Steak race, you know, ran beautifully, you know. And again, I think you could use this one underneath, the number five, Navitalova. Well, you know, I don't want to be too cute here. Obviously, we got to be Chad Brown's horses. But one of my favorite horses is running Lady Spangle Spear. You know, I've always loved this horse. I've cashed this horse a couple times. Um... At Woodbine up there with my girl Emma Jane up, you know, uh, and we got a decent price at five to one in November back there of last year. And Lady Spangle Spear, the number six, appears to be the speed. No, you didn't start with that speed stuff again. Well, yeah. So let me tell you how I handicap. I don't see most handicappers um, compare horses to the, to each other, right? You know, I guess. I mean, that's what most people do. You know, can this one beat that one? Can that one? I don't do that. I compare a horse to themselves. I look at how they ran in the past and how I think projecting how they're going to run today versus uh, their pace and their speed figures. So always remember, uh, my approach may be a little bit different. And you tell me if you've heard somebody say this before. I don't compare horses to each other. I compare them to themselves how they ran in the past, and how I think they're going to run today, regardless of who's in the race. If they have the numbers and the pace and the things that I like, where they are in their cycle and the way they are, I really don't care who's in the race. I'm pretty successful at that. So, again, remember, I compare horses to themselves, not to each other. Now, obviously, you look at them and you know this one's a little faster than that one. I mean, that goes without saying. But in general, I look at where the horse is in it who he is and who she is like that. And when I look at Lady Spangle Spear, she has four wins from seven starts and one second and one third. So this horse has been in the money six times of seven. Uh, she's on the back end, obviously, by th uh, Theatrical and by Spangletown. Uh, at Phil, Roger is our trainer of record. Everybody knows who he is, and Emma Jane rides this horse all the time. Well, today we get Louis Saez, okay, the man with beautiful, beautiful hands. And again, I think Spangle Spear is going to get to the top here and may be able to do some work. Now, again, I'm not being too cute here. I don't, You don't need me to give you the two Chad Brown runners. That's right. Santa Shara, you know I want to see her run. Of course, she looks like she's going to burst into flames as a four-year-old, the number three. And, of course, Regal Glory is a 1.5 million. I mean, these horses are top-notch, right? 17 starts with 10 wins, right? So, you know, obviously they'll be on my ticket. But if I want to get a little value here... You know what, I'm going to go ahead and give Lady Spangle Spear a chance to get to the top and maybe do some work on the two Chad Brown. That's what I said. Can we do some work, Dave Hammond, on those two Chad Brown big head horses? Right? I like Lady Spangle Spear. Like I said, um, she's one four of seven. She's lightly raised. She, you know, she's just some upside to this four-year-old filly. 
And again, you know, Roger Hadfield don't have to take a backseat to anybody when it comes to training on the turf or the synthetic. So, again, is she as talented as uh, Shanti Sarah here? No. Is she as fast as Shanti Shara going in? No. Is she as fast as Regal Glory going in? No. She's not. Okay. However, you know, she is improving. She's a lightly raced horse. She only has seven starts. It's four wins. You know, I'm going to give her a chance on the outside. So there is your Jenny Wally grade one stakes, race number 10 uh, at um, uh, Keeneland. And my top pick is I'm going to go ahead and take the speed. What else is new, Speed King? I'm going to take Lady Spangle Spear with my guy, Louis Sayage, okay? And again, I mean, again, maybe I'll have get a square price here of 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. You know, why everybody bang on Bre uh, Chad Brown's horses? Rightly so. You know, those are the two horses you need to beat. And particularly, if Shanta Sarah comes back the way I think she is, <laughs> you know, it's, these are these are top flight grade one horses, man. You know, Chad Brown's loaded for bear. He's got the whack and circle, and all he needs to do is just play his cards, right? So he's got everything his way here. So, again, my top pick is going to be the number six horse, Lady Spangle Spear, to see if we can do a little work and get away from the Chad Brown big head horses which ain't going to be easy. My second pick, obviously, is going to be Chad Brown, Santa Scherer. I want to see this four-year-old return with Flavian Pratt, okay? Um, i like to see Louis Saez give Flavian Pratt a jock lesson, which, you know, that'd be easy, you know, let's see, Saez or Pratt, that's an easy call, right? It's always Saez, but that's how I get myself in trouble. And our second pick will be the number three, uh, Santa Shara. And, of course, our third pick is going to be the other uh, Chad Brown, Regal Glory. But I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. So there it is. We're going to try to get away from the um, uh, Chad Brown horses with Lady Spangle Spear with the services of Louis Saez in the yard. That's right. One of the best jocks, if not the best jock in the country outside of Joel Rosario. And, again, I know the Ortiz boys have something to say, rightly so. So we like six. Three, four, in that order. Let me know in the Ginny Wiley stakes, and I'm sure I'll get a bunch of comments and emails about Flavian Pratt, as always. Stay classy. Let's see if we can get away from the Chad Brown big head horses with Lady Spangle Sphere. She's got a bright future, for sure. Talk to you.